What's up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the mods that I've had on the G35. So a lot of the mods I've had have already been more than a year that I've had them. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of those mods that already hit the year mark and tell you guys if it's worth it or not. If there's any cons that I noticed with the part that I installed, if I recommend it to you guys to pick it up or if you guys should get a cheaper alternative or get the more expensive, I'll let you guys know everything. So let's go ahead and start the video. First part we're gonna be talking about is the BC racing coilovers that I installed on my car. I've had these for more than a year already and I'd say that's probably one of the best things I could have bought in and I didn't cheap out on. There's a lot of cheaper alternatives you can get. You can get springs and you can get like 10 coilovers or you can get true hearts. I like that these have remained reliable. No knocking, no noise. These are the true rear coilovers meaning that the back ones are actual true rear coilovers a lot of people don't like because they start knocking I haven't had any knocks and I've had it for more than a year so if you're on track or day-to-day -day driving the damper control helps make it more comfortable on the street and make it a lot stiffer on track so it's perfect for a thousand dollars I definitely recommend these coilovers if you can fork out the thousand dollars you can definitely pick up a nice set of coilovers and these are a reputable brand no one's really had any major complaints that I've ever heard of so definitely worth investing on the BC Racing coilovers, so you don't have to worry about that in the future or any problems. You're gonna hit the wall. Joe, Joe. <laughs> fuck that wall. So next one we're gonna be talking about is the carbon fiber mirror caps. Now, a lot of people are interested in these caps and don't really wanna buy them because of the eBay quality or whatever. I have been running these for more than a year. The double-sided sticky tape is just fine. You don't need anything more than that if you put it right. The only thing that's wonky with these mirror caps is the fitment. It's not the best, it's decent, but you definitely need a you know work some magic in to make them fit properly for now this is fine it's a lot better than having just the regular color on the mirror another mod that i want to talk about is the specty lights a lot of people run these this is a very very common mod on the g35s and for good reason they're amazing lights a lot of people do have problems with them i personally for the time i've had it for more than a year haven't had any problems with them a lot of people have like flickering of the led lights a lot of people have you know problems with the bulbs themselves not really lighting up or flickering so so as you guys can see right here, I ended up putting some silicone all around the headlight housing just to make sure that I don't get any condensation. I don't really trust how Spec-D built these headlights from what I've read, so I ended up doing extra measures just to make sure that the headlights are sealed correctly. I think this is probably the best way to go about it. Go ahead and seal yours and it should be pretty good. Next mod we're going to be talking about is the aluminum drive shaft from Concept C. So this aluminum drive shaft I picked up is a one piece in comparison to the two piece that the OEM drive shaft from G35s have. The benefit is you have less rotational mass. It's I think half the weight from the OEM drive shaft. So since it goes from a two piece to a one piece, you also get that benefit of direct, you know, power right away instead of it being from two different moving parts. So you obviously notice the difference right away, but I feel like this mod is one of those mods that you really forget you even have. I personally have forgotten that I already have it. So it's not one of those mods that you really notice from day to day driving anymore. Keep that in mind that you probably will forget about it in like a couple months now I want to thank today's sponsor it's static garage they supplied us with the sick ass sticker right here you know the static garage the funny thing about this is I installed the sticker and instantly I gained about I think 50 horsepower it's like the uh, chip tunes you get for your car exact same way you install it on the windshield you gain 50 horsepower instantly so shout out to Static garage thank you for sponsoring this video and go ahead and check out some merch so one of my favorite mods that I have on the whole entire car is actually Actually in the interior it's this head unit that I bought from Decida this is a 10.2 inch Android head unit and it has all the bells and whistles from an Android tablet so you can go ahead and download any single app that you want I've already talked about this on my video on the install and also on the first update video so I've had this for almost a year and I love it I use this every time I drive obviously now almost a year of owning it and it hasn't had any problems at all so I'm very very happy that I have it and it runs literally like brand Brand new so this is connected to my phone right now so I have all my music so I can go ahead and check out my music so two phones don't really work it's only just one phone that really works with this but other than that I mean it works perfect I watch YouTube here you can connect your Netflix you can literally have a movie night in your car if you really wanted to but yeah I recommend it it's honestly a really really nice unit it has everything wireless 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a really big deal for me. It's definitely worth it. It's one of those things, you know, it looks really nice. Uh, it looks like a floating tablet on the car. I wanted to hide all the buttons for the AC controls. I feel like it modernizes it inside and I really like it. The last mod I'm going to be talking about for now is going to be the oil catch can. So for the people that are not aware, oil catch cans essentially do what they say, catch oil, because these cars are known for a lot of blow-by, so you don't want the blow-by just going into the engine again, so you want to catch it. And this of it appropriately so I ended up picking up this oil catch can and I wanted to try it out because this is a eBay catch can the reason why I picked up an eBay catch can was because of the price these are like 20 bucks and I wanted to see if a $20 one could do even half of the job of a Mishimoto one Mishimoto has a very 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 similar one that is I think 125 or 150 dollars so far I've actually had really good luck with this one it comes with a filter it comes with all the same things that the Mishimoto one comes with I literally think that this one is essentially what Mishimoto one is just that the Mishimoto one happens to have the labeling or the branding of it and they just marked up the price a lot more so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now how much I have of oil inside of the oil catch can I haven't checked it in a bit so I'm curious to see how much there is inside this has a little baffle plate and it also has a little micron filter which is exactly the same thing that the Mishimoto one has so again for 20 bucks this is amazing and look how much oil is in the oil catch can so this is all of the oil that that's being saved from being you know recirculated into the engine this one I bought for 20 bucks so I definitely recommend buying this one instead of buying the Mishimoto one just the price is so much better and I definitely don't want to spend a hundred almost 150 bucks on an oil catch can when I can go ahead and buy a $20 one and it does the exact same job so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you guys so I wanted to let you guys know about these parts because I think that a lot of people are curious on the you know long-term use of these a year is a good mark to know where they stand and if you should even you know buy these but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy this video leave it a like if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new around here we got plenty of g35 content on the channel already so go ahead and check it out on this channel and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace My name is Matt Hill and I am the voice of Ed um, and I just wanted you um, to subscribe uh, to uh, Joe Vaquez before the cankers take my buttered toast. <laughs> okay, have a great day.